Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Raytac here with the Room of Madness. This is an indie game off of Game Jolt. Yes, I'm still avoiding playing, um... I'm still avoiding playing After Fall Insanity. Now, I can't really see a th single thing in here, except for that wall. And, whoa, hey, sound got loud here. Now, the thing is, I don't really think there's much in this room. I think this room is all that it is. But it's an interesting... concept. I'm trying to see if there's anything off with this panel. I am a little irritated that the uh, mouse is still in the game. Or mouse isn't in the game, rather, I guess you'd say. Hold on one moment. Okay, turning off the room's lights did absolutely no good. Looks like there's... Oh, wait, no, I can actually see some differentiation now on the screen. Or is it changing? I think this might the wall might actually be changing. Looks like there's blood creeping across it. Yeah, it, it's it's really dark and thick here in this corner. And then right around here it starts getting sketchy. Oh, it's fading. Oh, hello, something's going on. Something is happening. Hmm. The wall is changing. Okay. Okay. Either the wall is ch oh nope, it's definitely changing because this this set of striations wasn't here. So we've got one, two, one, two, and three way over here. Here. So we've got three different sets of striations right now that weren't there when I started playing. Okay. The question is, is anything... Oh, hello. I can see the ceiling now. Things are changing ever so slowly. Wow, this side's really getting a bright red hue now, whereas this side over here is almost the same black color that the walls are. Okay, so we still got one set of stories. We still got one set of striations, Gazuntite, two sets of striations, three sets of striations. There's still three sets of striations. But I can see the Oh hey, I can jump. Oh hey. There's actually delineation on the ceiling. I don't know if I noticed that before. There's oh hello. There's like a corner of light there. Or a corner where the light isn't there. Is it just me or is that getting darker or more vivid red? Counting the striations, if I can even count them. This is an interesting game. I'm really I chose a uh, short, simplistic game. Yeah, the, the light on the ceiling is definitely changing because that's no longer anywhere near as big as it was. Yeah. Oh, hey, I think I saw something for a moment there. But I can't tell if that's just me or the shadows. Yeah, there's still... Okay. Oh, yeah, the light is definitely shrinking. The light is definitely shrinking into this corner. Watch. I come over here, and this is about in the center of my screen now. Yeah, not hitting anything, it's just getting darker. Huh, and it just moved. Uh-uh. Okay. Okay. So, there's no sound now. Like, not even the faint music that was at the start. I'm just... This is actually... 
There's nothing happening, and that's setting me on edge more than anything else. Oh, I keep thinking I see things. Now I know why it's called the Room of Madness. I'm bloody hallucinating. There's nothing there. Oh. I swear I just heard something. Wee. Okay, that's got my mouse back in the center of my screen. Of course, I don't really want that, but... Oh, my mouse just goes over to the side. Huh. My only point of reference is this wall. Oh, hey. Hey, look at that. Can I jump out? Nice blue. Nice blue. Wow. Going from the blue to the darkness of this room. I'm probably not going to record much longer. Um, oh, I never finished what I, why I said. I never finished saying why I was recording this. Um, I'm actually compressing a couple of videos right now, or a video right now. I decided I'd record something else so it would be short and easy for my computer to handle. Huh. I don't know if this is actually a change in the wall. Or if that's just my imagination and this was actually there before I started. But I'm fairly certain that the roof, you couldn't see the roof when I started. I still can't see any other walls, just this one in the roof. <gasps> What's this? Oh, am I just, am I just seeing outside the world? Yeah, I'm just seeing outside the world. Light! Light. That's the most reassuring ding dong thing I've seen. Let's see. Go over to the corner and see. There's light. Don't think I'm supposed to see that. Let's see if there's anything over on this wall I can see. <gasps> nope. Just the darkness. Let me get to the light. It's freedom. The light is good. The light is love. The light is life. I. That's actually the edge of the wall. I'm actually seeing through the wall to see that. Wow. That corner just seems darker. Or more vivid. I keep saying darker. No, it seems more vivid red. Of course, that could just be because I'm contrasting it to the black all around it. There's the ceiling. There's the edge of the lightest ceiling right there. Sounds gone. It's creeping me out. I keep expecting something to happen. Nothing's happening. Minimalistic games are creepy. Uh, I want something to happen. Throw something at me! No? Nothing? 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 Uh, the Room of Madness. It drives you crazy from expectation if you can keep playing long enough. Because I have a feeling that What was that? What was that? I heard that. Can't sneak that past me. Uh, keep freaking myself out. Sorry, there's something going on in here. Um. Anyway, this game drives you crazy if you can keep playing long enough because I think I, I have a feeling that there are people who've played it and they've just played it for a few minutes and nothing happened and they're just like, well, screw that, this is a crap game. This is... I'm staring at the ceiling. Whoops. Okay, reorient myself with the wall. Nice wall. I like you, wall. Don't go away, wall. Um, it's an interesting experiment game. I wouldn't call this any specific kind of game other than experimental. And, of course, indie. But it doesn't mean it's bad. It's interesting. The light. Okay, so we've got our ceiling, the edge of the light, and the actual edge. Oh, hey, the the lit 
lip portion of the ceiling and the corner and the actual corner of the room come together right here, whereas over there they really do not. Uh, follow the darkness. I swear for a second I saw a streak of bright red on the ceiling. So yeah, this game dr slowly drives you crazy if you keep playing it. Okay, find the wall, rearm myself with the wall. Keep seeing, thinking I'm seeing a new. I'm th seeing one of the other walls. No, I'm just. I'm getting so turned around in the darkness. So, reorient myself with the wall. Whoa, was that a face? No, it's just the striations. Alright, well. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it quits here. This is an interesting experimental game. Just. I don't know if anything's happening. I don't know if I'm if the walls are closing in on me and I just don't realize it. I don't I don't know. Because I'm pretty sh I swear I saw a blur right there. Um I'm pretty sure I couldn't see that that blue there before. I couldn't see that before. So there is that. But at the same time nothing really seems to be happening. And well I'm sure while well, some people like listening to my voice, the majority of viewers aren't going to watch a video just to hear me talk about the game. So anyway, that's it for The Room of Madness. It's an interesting experimental game on available on Game Jolt. I'll put the descri description or the link in the description if you guys want to ch test it out yourselves. See if you can survive longer in The Room of Madness than I can because I'm calling it quits here. Anyway. Until next time, everyone, this is Raytax signing on out. Have fun!